eternal, burning hell that lasts for all the eons that the righteous are in heaven, we teach that God is going to totally eradicate sin, and unfortunately sinners. On that day, you, you, you remember this verse we just read? The angels that fell, what are they reserved for? On what day? The last day. Not a thousand years ago, six thousand years ago, okay? But on that last day when Jesus comes to judge the world. When Jesus comes, has he made up his mind? Absolutely. Judgment is done. This is why as Adventists we teach and preach the pre-Advent judgment. Because he doesn't come here and then decide who's going to make it and who's going to be lost. Judgment has already been rendered and he comes to meet out that judgment. Amen. It's done. Amen. It's over with. This is why I'm an Adventist. Amen. The sad thing is, is most Adventists don't understand that doctrine. So anyway, I am going to be close because I smell food. <laughs> Let's finish this. Knowing this first, that scoffers will come in the last days walking according to their own lusts and saying, Where is the promise of this coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. For this they willfully forget that by the word of God the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of water and in the water by which the world that then existed perish being flooded with water. They were telling Peter in his day, God never flooded the world. You can't have a worldwide flood. And we're saying the same thing today. But yet Peter says, understand this, that that world of old perished in that water. God's word is true. You can understand it, and you can believe it, and you can have faith that the Jesus that is contained in that book is the Jesus that is your ark of safety. <laughs> Closing hymn this morning is hymn number 216.